a one. You're listening to Just OK Gamers, where this week we all saw Star Wars and we're going to spoil it for you guys right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see that one part? Yeah, I saw part? all the parts of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. My favorite part. What was it? The Luke Han kiss. It yep. was uh, the part where Jar Jar Binks died. You're so lame, dude. <laughs> You're so lame. <laughs> the Jar Jar Binks part. Yeah, uh, the Jar Jar Binks. Uh, no, uh, no like Jar Jar Binks. Good riffing. Good riffing, nasty. Gosh. We're just okay and we play some games. We're just okay gamers. This is why you need to buy me some classes to go learn how to be a comedian. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You're paying for those, that right? Go... That's coming out of the budget? Yep. Yeah, sure. The budget. Every dime. The big budget we have. <laughs> that right Every money. Time. Uh, yeah, that didn't go as planned. I don't know how to go do figure. Star Wars. So I don't know how to. Well, that's the perfect budget. time to make up spoilers for Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're prime candidate number one. Just stick yeah. random shit. Like. <laughs> C-3PO Luke talks Skywalker. to... Is Luke Skywalker in it? Like, I don't even know. That's I know the there's question. the black guy who's a Jedi, right? Or is he? Yeah, is he? Do you think he know. just found a, a lightsaber? I think well, it's not just any it. lightsaber. When I was a kid, I thought... Found it? Was, it? I yeah, thought they were it. called light, lightsabers, like you're saving light. Well, you're light a savers. dumbass idiot kid. <laughs> That's not a spoiler, by the way. Is it? <laughs> is it a spoiler if it's already known? They changed the name to lightsabers in this movie. That's the spoiler. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think people could kind of, if they're fans of Star Wars, kind of draw the conclusion with the blue blade and whatnot. Okay, because that, that is what it is. Uh, right. Um. Uh, okay, thanks for listening to episode yeah. 141. <laughs> one, four, one, one, four, one of the Just OK Gamers podcast. My name is Guido. And I it's am here Wally. with... Oh, God. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> We are not at our ca- I'm not feeling it anymore tonight either. <laughs> Fuck this podcast. Uh, I'm Millpool. Hi. Yo, what's up? It's nasty. Okay. So there we have it. We're all here. We're here. We're, we're here. We're queer. We don't want any more bears. Um, bears? Yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> so uh, how are your weeks, guys? You guys having good weeks? We're recording on a Tuesday. That's kind of weird. <laughs> It it's very weird. Yeah. Um, I couldn't make the regular Thursday recording. So everybody bent their schedules around me and helped help me out. And we were able to pump this one out. So you guys could uh, podcast a little bit earlier. How about that? Ooh. That's <laughs> some pretty fun stuff, I'd That's say. That's customer service. Yeah. We actually got a lot of stuff for them this week. Yeah, we do. Ye- you just put a video out today. I did put a video out. Absolutely. I played a game of League of Legends with my mother. Hypno It's hilarious. Hour long bot game. Yep. It was very long. It was <laughs> that was like that wasn't even the the least of it. Like it was an hour long bot game, yes. But before that, I played or I sat next to her and watched her play a whole game without bots, just creeps. So that she could kind of get stuff under her you know, to figure stuff out. Right. A lot of good that did, obviously. I don't even know how to do show that. And then... Yeah, you just go in a custom game. Yeah, just custom game, no bots. And then before that, we played a bot game where I was in it, and it just went horribly. We stopped after, like, five minutes. I was like, okay, we're going to sit down and do this. But before that, she ran through the tutorial twice. Two times. Two-time tutorial lady right there for you <laughs> you really gave her a lot of prep yeah yeah did you make, did you make her watch any pro play any all-stars yep i made her watch all of the finals and uh championship <laughs> so I made her... that's why she wanted to kill herself <laughs> <laughs> yeah i made her watch all of that a good uh what what would that be uh probably like 20, uh, 200 hours 22 22 22 <laughs> 22 hours. 22 hours. Uh, you've been hitting that purple haze. <laughs> yeah, baby. That hypno haze. So, uh, yeah, she she had a rough time with it. But she really enjoyed it. She had a lot of fun, she said. 
good. Yeah, she seemed like she was getting really frustrated. She seemed like I did this past Sunday. Yeah, she was tilting pretty hard. <laughs> pretty hard. I couldn't. I love the part where she was just like. <sighs> <laughs> I had to cut out about five more of those. Just yeah, there's, there's a little bit of that going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the original one that I had edited was like 20 minutes long. Ooh. So it took me a lot to get it down to 10 minutes. Yeah. Because I included I some of the stuff from the first bot game and the tutorials and stuff. Mm. There, there, there's so a I just part, scrapped all that. There's a part of the video, first off, my favorite part, I think, is, is that, who's that clown? Referencing yeah. <laughs> who's this really? guy? <laughs> who's this guy with the feathers? <laughs> Oh you, oh, you missed them. <laughs> oh, you missed them then. I, <laughs> wish you like... said, I wish you would have said something about that, because I agree, that was great. Uh, it's It was great that she didn't realize that you could, like, move the screen to wherever you wanted it to be most of the time. It was just right. like, where are you going? <laughs> also, she was, like, unlock. The tutorial tells you very early on to press Y to lock your camera. And she took that as like, oh, why is probably an important part of the game. So whenever I get in trouble, I'll just, you know, I'll spam my Y. Oh. <laughs> so that's why it, it kept going locked and unlocked. And she couldn't see anything. Yeah, it was rough. It was really frustrating for me. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> you, did, you did a good job, though, keeping your calm. Because I definitely would have gotten pretty frustrated. Well, yeah, I'm not going to get angry at her. Like, right, I knew but it's just going like, into this. Uh, just hit the freaking button. <laughs> when, right. when she referenced getting a larger, broader view of the game, and you said, oh, you want to get high. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> is that true? <laughs> no, I don't know. No. My mom doesn't sm She's not a pothead. Sad <laughs> to say, there's a little hey. look behind the curtain. She, she doesn't smoke a lot of dope, guys. Yeah, sorry to let you down. Right. <laughs> Everybody was hoping it by the Hypno Haze 420 name. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, it was a fun video to make. Maybe we'll make another one. It seemed like a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to watch. Oh, good. Glad it worked out. That was like three hours to take yeah. to make that. Very well, like to just record it. Yeah, that sounds like. Uh about how long my last video should have taken. <laughs> I ended up taking like eight. Yeah, you made a video, right? Yeah, it's uh, pretty much done. Nice. Just a few more things, and then I'll be letting it out this week. Sweet. What, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. She'll be going up. Instead Three of days in a row. You're Very a, excited. You're getting a, a nasty video. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, content, content. Review. You don't want to release what game it is, though, do you? Do you uh, oh, it, it's I am Brad, so uh, it was frustrating to play, to say the least. I bet, I bet. Especially being drunk, that game's hard being sober, mm -hmm. and then I just became more and more uncoordinated. You gotta be coordinated. Yeah. Do it. And I don't have a a controller either. That was like my biggest complaint. <clears throat> I think is that I should have had a controller. Yeah. But it was fun to make. And, uh, yeah. Thursday. What did you do this week, Millpool? Anything fun? Um, geez, it's been a weird week because we recorded on Thursday. So <laughs> did you guys go downtown? Uh, did we go downtown this weekend? I don't remember. We did, we hung out with, uh, Jacob, uh, one night. Mm. Uh, we went to this bar. Uh, called Art Bar, which was cool. They have like a bunch of artwork up on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was. I don't know if we've done much other going out. We like have gone out shopping. My girlfriend and I. She needs new tires on her car. She needs new tires. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, never mind. That's why I don't talk about my week. <laughs> hey, I'm not much better. I didn't you tried. Really do anything. Uh, Wally, what did you do this week? Uh, basically, I got done Christmas stuff. I got I picked out a lot more presents, got stuff wrapped. Okay. You did uh, that and, stupid uh, fundraising thing in the beautiful weather. Oh, yeah. that was It was gorgeous. It was 69 degrees outside. And thank you for reminding me because I, I don't think of things where I'm compelled to do sometimes as that. But I did volunteer technically. Uh 
I was part of the Firefighters for Kids toy drive, and I've been doing it for the last half a decade now. And uh, Firefighters for Kids? Yes. Like a kid they, gets their own firefighter? They get their own firefighter for Christmas. Yep. Uh, what? The ones are they that, clothes, hopefully? Yeah, the ones that survive are, uh, emerge from the gift on Christmas morning. The after gift the movie? Yes. It's the gift. <laughs> or are we talking herpes? <laughs> they emerge from a wrapped DVD <laughs> copy of the gift... <laughs> And uh, they, <laughs> That's they crazy. Come out and then introduce themselves to the family. It's a firefighter. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like they, it. They, they now belong to them now. Wow. And uh, there's a, usually a, like a firefighter house in the back that you can either build or buy as a kit. And they live wow. out there. In the case it's a fire, they come rushing in. They save everyone. Um, are these build your own firehouses still available? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can get them on Amazon. <laughs> okay, sweet. I'll have to go pick one up. Shipping speech. Even all the two-day shipping's uh, not available on those. <laughs> yeah, it's not Prime eligible. What oh, is it? Fuck. A giant box copy of the gift DVD? <laughs> How, it has to be huge. It's, light, it's, yeah. like, it's like a Jurassic Park crate with the but gift it's, cover on it. But it's a perfect <laughs> replica to scale. Like the DVD is unplayable. But it's actually. <laughs> Unless you have that giant DVD player. Yeah, well, they have I the firehouse. I there's, only, there's only like two of those in existence. Right. Like one's owned by Bill Gates, and the other one's some guy in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I bought the one from the guy in Saudi Arabia. It was oh, a cheap, wow. cheap $1.7 million. The oh. biggest DVD player. It's also like a substandard <laughs> format, too. Yeah. It makes it perfect. It's also gold plated, so I gold figured plated. it was well well worth the, the cost. Very good. Uh, but yeah, lots of poor kids, lots of toys. Helping them out, helping connect those two things together, and uh, it's really a lot of rewarding experience. Did you just say connecting poor kids with toys? Yes. Okay. I'm just making sure that I heard that correctly. Pork yes. kids? Pork, pork kids. kids with toys. <laughs> I imagine little piggy kids running around. <laughs> uh, all right. Should we get into League of Legends? We can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I haven't picked out any segues, so we'll just kind of... Spam Perfect. Uh, like the most ancient R line segue. <laughs> How about this? Oh. One? You just find it <laughs> back. Podcast. Memeing. Segway. Memeing. 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 Yeah, it's it's crackling. Still haven't fit it, fixed our uh, issue with playing audio files yet. It's just a bish. It is. It's a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. Well, there's this little event that went on this past weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys might have heard of it. Uh, I don't know. What was it called? Uh, I think it was called All of the Stars. <laughs> oh, that's a good movie. Is that The Fault in Our Stars, right? The Fault, yeah, The the Fault in Our Stars. That's what you said, right? The Fault in Our Stars? It's the <laughs> young adult novel? <laughs> All turned into a movie. It's a it's movie now. Isn't that uh, about a cancer emotion. patient yeah, or something? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's like a walk to remember or something. Does she yeah. die? Uh, he... Spoilers! He, she does. He, she does. He, he she? <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh, that kind of a novel. <laughs> yeah. oh, I feel bad for her. That person then. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. <clears throat> All Stars was this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, famous players in the League of Legends scene get together in a theater in the round in Los Angeles, California, to compete in various tournaments, such as one versus one tournament, uh, all for one tournament. Uh, uh, country and uh, area based <laughs> tournaments right um, <laughs> and the uh, the duo tournament yeah the tandem uh, yeah tandem tandem, tandem bicycle they, they took that one out of our book weeds we did that in may those. yeah did one person do the keyboard one person yep. did the mouse yeah yep i think someone at riot listens to this podcast I think somebody does and listen to this podcast. We didn't podcast that, though. We did talk well, we about, about it on the it. boner app. Yeah. 
No, that's a pretty funny thing to do, I guess, right? It was, yeah, it was fun when we did it. Except for we only did that one time because you kept getting frustrated with me because I would go too aggro. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, it was a good, good event, I'd say. A lot of people had I... fun. It was super laid back. Looked like all the players were having fun. No one was taking it too seriously. Judging yeah. from that clip of the frog and double lift fight you have, it looks like it was very laid back. No one was taking there's, it too seriously. There's a mix of, oh, there's a mix of like tryharding. When you got to like some of the uh, region-based games, like there was some tryharding for sure. For mm-hmm. sure. But that's kind of to be expected. Everybody still wants to win at the end of the day. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen more troll picks in the team games. Yeah, that is true. That's what it's kind of meant for, right? Is to kind of like enjoy it and have fun and allow the fans to kind of see some off picks. Yeah. Um, I really liked the 1v1 tournament. I thought that was fun. Yeah, I agree. It was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, a lot of interesting strategery going on in there. Strategery. Right? Mm-hmm. A lot of tactics. Yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of, a lot of Dorn, Dorn blades were bought. A lot of long swords were bought. That's pretty much <laughs> yeah. the extent of people's items. <laughs> yeah, there weren't too many uh, crazy picks. Like uh, Froggen had some interesting picks, but mainly it was just pick an ADC to win. Pick Lucian. Right. Right. Lucian yeah. or Caitlyn, or Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean. That's kind of the people that you would expect, though, in a 1v1 to win, right? I suppose. Yeah. You'd think, yeah. Anyone... Yeah, it was fun, though. The Froggen versus Faker match was really interesting, too, and they both picked an NVIDIA. Yeah. I didn't see that one. There's Froggen a quote won. from that, right? Mill? Yeah. What? Didn't he have, like, a quote about a NVIDIA, like, you can't stop me, I am a NVIDIA or something? Yeah, the Froggen said that. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that is, like, his most played and best champion. Yeah. Anytime anybody thinks of Frog and they think of Anivia. During the Frog and Double Lift match, there was a fun fun little segment mm-hmm. that I saw live. This is, like, the only thing I saw live of All Stars. That's funny because this is, like, one of the things that I didn't see out of, like, my three days of on and off watching. Yeah. Uh, Frog and was Olaf and Double Lift was Twitch. Uh, Froggen goes and throws a snowball as Twitch is, as Double Lift is backing and hits it and then activates it right as the recall animation finishes and he goes into Fountain and Froggen follows him into Fountain and loses. And that in itself is crazy enough, right? That's pretty, yeah. the pretty, important thing is, pretty one wacky. One of the important things is Twitch is in a bush so he didn't know he was recalling until the last second. Right. So he pretty much just hits the snowball and then activates it right away. But then the same exact thing happens a second time. Yeah. Like, yeah. you'd think that he would have learned his lesson the first time. Well, and Double Lift also should have won the series. They were playing a two out of three. Double Lift wins the first game, and then that happens in the second game. So Double Lift should have won, but Froggen wanted a rematch, and Double Lift said fine. And then it yeah. happened again, and they agreed to a rematch again. <laughs> yeah. I guess Froggen didn't want that rematch. He was ready to give it to Double Lift. Yeah, he was ready to, and then he they kind of cut to their comms, and Froggen was like, uh, I don't really care, man, Like, if you want. like, I really don't want to. But Double Lift was like, whatever, man, I don't want to win that way. Like, <laughs> That's kind of a cheap way to win. Yeah. <clears throat> it was funny. It was funny to see the crowd's react and their reactions. Mm-hmm. But very stunned disbelief. I was surprised, though, that the snowballs don't do damage. They do do damage, don't they? But they do don't. Do. But if they do damage, then they should have interrupted his back. Uh, there's a small window where if you take damage, your back doesn't get interrupted. The snowballs have changed over time. At first, they did damage when you hit them, and when you followed up, they do true true damage and then they Mm -hmm. changed it so they don't do damage when they hit but you do damage when you follow up and i'm not sure if they've changed them again since then i feel like the ones in arams do damage when you land them and when you follow up yeah i think you do a little bit of damage when they land this is the most this mechanic will ever get talked about (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. It got talked about a lot when we were also doing uh, ARAM shoutcast. So. Yeah, but ARAMs are fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> so saith the Guido. 
I mean, uh. A Rams are so stupid, man. <laughs> it's just a waste of time. Uh, speaking of A Rams. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of ARAMs, let's talk more about ARAMs. Let's talk about ARAMs. Oh, yeah, ARAM 24-7. No pool, have you been watching ARAMs lately? Have I been watching Or playing ARAMs, ARAMs a lot lately? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been playing. Yeah, no no regular mode? Uh, I've played a couple regular games in the past week or so, but yeah, I play a lot of ARAMs. <laughs> ARAMs are stupid. How do you they're... feel about that? Uh, I mean, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I don't mind ARAMs. They're, they're just like, you don't have to care in them. I don't want to be committed to a game where people are yelling at me and stuff. You don't have to care to other games? The regular summoners yeah. draft. Yeah, Clearly Guido um, doesn't. Everybody it takes it's it hard so for me seriously. To, I know, it's hard for me to detach <laughs> myself from that. Well, yeah. Be caring. I think when I'm be in more... ARAM, like, it, it doesn't really matter. No one cares that much, usually. I feel you on that, though, Mill. I get kind of attached. Yeah. By but kind it's... of, I mean very... <laughs> I just... <laughs> I feel as if you're both right, and that's the problem. I don't know. If, if there's some way to kind of overcome this drive to take the regular mode so too, too seriously, it would almost revolutionize the culture of the game. But I don't know if that's possible. I'm fine with people taking the game seriously. Like I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just saying it'd be cool if there was some way of embracing that at least a little bit. I'm fine with people taking it seriously, but at the right place in the right time. Yeah, like exactly. normal team builders well, is not the place to take it seriously. Well put, yes. Yeah. You know? Nah, normal team builders is the only place to take it seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the other game modes don't matter. It's true. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I feel like team builders been fucking us lately, though. Team builders a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. We should just start playing draft. But it takes so long to get into the game. Uh, yeah, but we have five <laughs> people, so it's not like we're not going to get into the game. Yeah, it, but still, I don't know. It's just another layer. Or just do a normal. Oh. Yeah, blind pick. <laughs> yeah, and we can just talk about where we're going. Before but then we the get problem is, the game. people still pick like the Yasuos. They pick the Quins. Yeah. They pick the uh, super over overpowered champs anyway in blind. The whole reason for playing draft is to get rid of those picks. Get rid of the blind, overpowered champion. Yeah, and I guess to pick into those. So if somebody picks a Quinn, you can counterpick it. Yeah. But well, let, let, us, let me rephrase this, because this is what drove me away at least a few times in the beginning, is that I, don't, I like the fact that people are, can be serious in the normal games, and you sort of need to be in order to have a healthy team dynamic. But I just I guess my larger objection is the sentimentality of being only able to let your hair down in an ARAM because in, in Guido's terms, gay ram's garbage. You know, and I don't know, there doesn't need to be a, such a clean line between the I two, mean, I think. you can, like, fuck around in normals, too. I'm talking about myself, like, I just get too into the game. Yeah, but I... That's when I'm playing a normal, and I, well, like, I'd rather just play an ARAM, mostly. I most think your time. sentiment is emblematic of a lot of people. Unless I mean, I'm I prefer... playing with other people, then, like, I like normals. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot better when you have a group of friends that are just sitting playing on five man. Most of the time, I should say. <laughs> sometimes, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I still get a little carried away in them, even with friends. Mm. But, but yeah, matchmakers have been kind of rough on me. Maybe nasty too. I've been yeah, losing a I'd, lot of games. I lost the, so many games. This preseason has shifted, and it's. It's a harder shift for me to get used to than the previous preseasons, and I can't really put my finger on what it is. You know, I, it, I figured it out what it is for me. What is it for you? It's it's that it's a lot faster. Like you don't have that like okay, let me farm up, and then when I hit like four, five, six, I can start doing things. It's like level three matters now. And like those early, the really early plays matter a lot more in this preseason, which I've never been really good at. My early game is always just fucking terrible. Right. It is. <laughs> yeah, no, it really kidding. is. Like, no, that's like my worst. That's like I know that's my worst part of my play. So it's made me really kind of focus on playing smarter and just going back and being safer in the early game. And if you fuck up early now, snowballing happens so easy. It feels like. Yeah. I think it feels like the game feels pretty balanced right now. There's not too many OP champs that, like there have been in the past, like after the 
juggernaut patch um, yeah I th- like i think it's generally in a good place right now uh i don't know i kind of have the opposite feeling where i feel like games are as long as you're not falling too far behind like you always have a chance to win um i don't know if that's different than it used to be but i just think late game is like super important where like one and it kind of happens a little earlier now like they shorten the game time it seems a little bit yeah, right. they definitely. I shouldn't. think. Well, yeah, for the most part. Late they game shouldn't. is like thirty-two minutes now. It feels yeah. like. Where the juggernaut patch, it was like forty minutes minimum. Right. There's a lot more like, snowballing too. I've noticed. Like. Yeah. You, like a you jacks get gets out of control. You can get stomped <laughs> and it's just like, in this game now. <laughs> seven, like thirty. We finished a game. I finished a rank game the other day in sixteen minutes. And it's not like they had AFK. It was just that we snowballed that hard in the first like four minutes. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and then just shoved down. Sure. Yeah, I guess it just comes down to me kind of figuring out how to make that happen. I also feel like you don't play champions that you would like to play sometimes because of wanting to get footage for a guide. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I play a lot of champions that I don't particularly one enjoy. Or two, am very good at at all, like Devourer right. junglers. I can't. I have a hard time playing Devourer junglers. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Um, Just like getting sated seems to. You always are like, I feel like I should be sated already, but I'm not right. there for some reason. And then you risk going to gank, and if you mess up the gank, you could have got two stacks on your uh, Devourer. If you miss it, you know it's just right. It's something that I have a lot of trouble with. So usually I just stick to the uh, tanky junglers. Right. uh, I don't know. There's not a lot that I can do in that sense. It's like Sejuani and Jax are the two that I haven't made. Or not Jax, uh, Zach. The two I haven't made guides for yet. You've tried Zach before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I played a lot. I enjoy playing Zach. Zach's fun. And I could play him a lot, but it, the problem is when I'm doing a guide is, like, it. I need exciting moments, and those don't happen until like halfway through the game with Jax. Right. You know? Or uh, Zach. I keep with Zach. Jax. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's three letters and an A in the middle, and it ends with a yeah. K sound. So, but yeah, you're right because he's kind of like an early farm up, get tanky, then go make things work, or play the risky like hope play off of your passive being up to get a get a gank in kind of thing yeah but uh, i don't know it's been a lot of changes like it's taken me i don't play a heck of a lot but it's taken me a while to get comfortable with all the preseason changes taking a while like i'm just starting to figure out what's working what's not working what's right and they're still changing stuff. stuff too like that's the other thing like just when you think you got a grasp on something then they add another mastery in and it's like now you have three to choose from at that tier, or they change a champion, like nerf them really hard, or they mess around with some items, or change around the keystone masteries, and it's just like, come on, guys. Like, I get that this is what, like, preseason is for, but it's like just when you start getting a grasp on things, they go and change it up again. It's a lot of work to keep up with it all. It yeah. Is. It's almost better off, like, wait three weeks and see where it all kind of like lays yeah, after the, the holidays. See what the pros do. <laughs> right. See what's OP. For what it's yeah. worth, uh, I like the new mastery trees. I was playing around with them yeah. for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah me I'm too. Pretty, pretty happy with how they changed it. It's a lot simpler now. I also like that it's easy to change it up for like each specific time that you play. Because since there's fewer, it's not like, oh, i got to change all these in this tree and then go over to this tree. It's like just click on one and it puts all five yeah. points into it and you can kind of just like click your way down instead of like having a mouse scroll through them to get your points in sure the, the thing that's kind of thrown me off is they changed like the support and defense mm-hmm. so defense around. is on the outside and supports in the middle yeah, yeah and i keep like putting 18 points and i want to put it in in support and i go to the right side and it's like oh i'm getting all these defensive like, stats magic resist and like armor and i don't want this right stuff. yeah, yeah. I also think that it's uh, they did a good job of mixing it up. So the trees are kind of more, you don't have, like the left side is obviously like more aimed towards damage and the middle is a little bit more utility and the right side is more defensive stuff. But there's also like sprinkled in there is other kind of stat based or 
you know, cooldown based or other kind of stuff that's in the other ones as well that maybe right. doesn't really apply. Like the assassin one is in the middle tree, and yeah, that's and definitely so not a supporty thing. Yeah, and Thunderlords is in the middle one as well. Right, right. and that's like the same. most OP right now. Is, yeah. And I think that's just because everything got nerfed to shit last patch. Thunderlords. Mm hmm. It's OP if you're not taking it, and you should be. Sounds like a Saturday morning cartoon for toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One you... Saturday morning. Oh, wait. All right. I think we're <laughs> done with League of Legends. Really? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of this segment. Yeah. Okay. General gaming, general gaming, general gaming, general gaming, general gaming, general gaming. I love that segue. That was back when Millpool took over the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. That was like due. a year ago. We're due for another Mill takeover. Yeah, Mill, you want it? I shake this it. fucker up. Just to make more segues. I'll do it. Just to make more segues. You know, you can make segues without having part. to host it. Uh, maybe I'll just tell you that you're going to host it, and then you make the segues, <laughs> send them to me, because I'm the one that has to play them, and then I'll take over again. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so you're That's hosting next move. week? Oh, great. I'll start making segues. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. Um, oh boy, general gaming, huh? we got a lot of small little things to talk about. Uh, CSGO has a new revolver. People are saying yeah. it's... it's Mm, this uh, revolver's overpowered, Valve. Please, would you nerf my revolver? <laughs> that was that almost uh, Roger Rabbit. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, I guess you can like shoot while you're defusing a bomb, or you could. They probably fixed it by now. They probably fixed all this and it's balanced now. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about it other than people are complaining about right, it. Right, that's it. Yeah, you can get one hit kills with it. There's one uh, post on the League subreddit that said that, oh, Counter Strike's fucked up. I'm gonna play this game now. And yeah, it got like upvoted to the top. The their tagline was League of R8 for like a week or two. Oh, oh God. On the League subreddit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, it, like it's it's been a big deal. I just haven't kept up with it. Hmm. I don't keep up with competitive Counter Strike. Yeah, or this thing is selling for. <laughs> and a I lot. don't blame you one bit. I've actually been this... surfing a lot. Yeah, uh, uh, this gun, by the way, is selling for like four hundred dollars on the Steam Marketplace. <laughs> Oh, really? Can't yeah. you buy it? Yeah, can't like, you just buy it outright? I thought everybody got it. Well, I got it. I'm, sh I'm sure that you could get it, but people are selling it, like, on the Steam Marketplace I'll sell it for right some now. reason. Is it, is it a variant of it? Like a skin well, I mean, It's gotta be a skin. It could be the skin variant. Yeah. Because I logged in to looking. Surf, and it was like, oh, you got a new gun. Here's your revolver. Here's your revolver. Go kill people. <laughs> Immediately start surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm surf yeah. the best. Yeah, popped in some house electronica and started surfing away, baby. You know it. Boots and bats. I never got into surfing. I never understood it. You gotta try it, Mill. I tried it like once and I just <laughs> fell. And... It's fun. It is fun. It's a little frustrating, but I like it. I just pop on some uh, Netflix or something and kind of just fuck around. And so I'm really I... bad at it. I'm very bad at it. <laughs> but it's still fun. I like it. Everybody you should uh, try surfing. If you have Counter-Strike, go try it. All right. I've actually never surfed. No? No. Are you going to explain what it is or just move on? Uh, no, just move on. I mean, <laughs> can, we do a, can we do a video together of us all trying to surf? Yeah, we could try. Oh, I don't know how we do bit. it because it's just... I'm sorry. Oh yeah, nasty might do that. No, it's bit. all good. It's all good. No. But we couldn't do it anyways, all four of us, unless we're all recording it and then all send it to one person to edit. You know. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't share screens really well. We're not really stealing a bit if we never do it, so you might be in luck. <laughs> <But> <laughs> anyway, surfing is there's these ramps. You jump on them. You strafe. You go through this course, hitting these ramps just right. That's it. It's hard. That's the best I can explain it, right? <laughs> yeah, if you're surfing. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surfing, bro. Surf's up, bro. Surf's up, bro. Oh, who's that? That's Surfer bro. Nasty? Surfer yeah, Nasty, you here? Up, bro. Oh, dude, yeah, how you we been? Hit the tie, bro. Oh, hell no, dude. I really love this guy. He's yeah. a really cool guy. What's we going on? Go surfing, oh, he loves surfing. Uh, hey, you want to go smoke some weed, bro? <laughs> oh, yeah. How big yeah, of a let's wave get do you high, hit? And then do you, we can go surf, bro. You, what's the biggest wave you've ever hit, Surfer Nasty? Uh, big, bro. Just real big. Uh, just real big, huh? Yeah, like, you ever we're hang talking 10? like three feet. Three feet yeah? tall. Real big. You real ever, big. You ever hang 10? Uh, I hang 12. Oh, you put your little oh, thumbs down there? <laughs> I, I put my fingers down. Hands on the board, bent over, get a nice stretch in the hamstring. Yeah, you, know. you gotta stretch a hammy. Yeah, it's good stuff, yeah. bro. Let's wow. go surf, bro. Okay, Let's all right. Go. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you there. All right, all right, baby. All right, good. It's always nice to get a visit from Surfer Nasty. Uh, he likes surfing. He does. You guys out in Bradford Beach? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, Kojima, he they laid him off. He's gone now officially. I know this has been in the works for a long time, for the past few months. I didn't know he was still there. Like, when I saw this story, I'm like, I didn't know he was still there, because they're taking his name off of everything. Right. But he was still, he still had, like, an office that everybody avoided. Yeah. He just sat there on his desk with nothing there. In the corner. Hands, like, <laughs> smiling tapping and smiling. Waving. Yeah. Hey. Hey, guys. Hi. Yeah, you can come in. No, no, I'm still here. Yeah, come yeah. on in. But everybody just avoided him. Yeah, it's like, mm, don't talk to him. Uh, but now he's uh, he's officially let go, and rumor has it that he will be uh, kind of doing some stuff with Sony and uh, getting a rumor little developing it. studio going <laughs> with them. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Hello. Oh, you're supposed to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to keep going. I was just, you know, background singer for you. For who? Wally? For you. Me? No, for you. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking. Rumor has it. Oh, I don't know that song beyond just rumor has it. Rumor yeah, that's it. Know, you just know. keep talking, and I just keep saying rumor has it in the background. Oh, okay. I don't think you thought this bit out really well. No, I did. Oh, you did? Can I see your notes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, you did, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So Kojima, yeah, he might do some stuff with Sony. I don't know what what's a Sony IP he could work on. They'll probably do a new IP, right? I don't. Know. Would they put him to work on something, or would they? Just I let him get. Do I guess well, the rumor is that he's definitely gonna have his own studio. Yeah, his own studio, so he could make any kind of IP. I guess he'll probably make a new IP. You know what he's gonna do? What he's gonna make some kind of Silent Hill type game. Yeah, this is a giant fuck you to. to <laughs> he's gonna make to the, uh, what? Mineral cog hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mineral cog. Is this gonna have yeah. like a World of Warcraft like esque feel to it? Mineral cog hard. Plastic piston. Uh, oh, I dense. Like plastic. Dense. Dense. Yeah, there you go. Dense. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what he does, but I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> Star Citizen has reached one million dollars. One million? Wow! Speaking of not hundred million, <laughs> yeah. Also, why do people... hundred million? What did I say? I said one. One. Million. <laughs> <laughs> that was you guys didn't let ago. me continue. <laughs> uh, oh, in in one day. Yeah, Star right. Citizen reached one million dollars. Star Citizen Several also reached ago. two million dollars, <laughs> and then they reached well, three million dollars, and then they reached uh -huh. four million dollars. Ten minutes well, later. And then they reached one hundred million dollars. Yep. You got see it's we did good post work there. Just to, you know, cut a lot of that out. That was real dead right. space. Um Wally well, gave, this, gave them money. Yeah. I have three shit. Hundred million dollars? You gave them a hundred million dollars, Wally? I, I gave them a hundred million dollars. Did you give them all of our podcast money? Yeah, all the right money, it's gone. Uh, What's the backer reward for a hundred million dollars? Do does the whole company come and suck your dick and tongue your yep. asshole? Yeah, we're, 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 we're <laughs> one by one. Spaceship. One by one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also, I sold the bullet on that pedestal in our warehouse. Uh, oh, that's where you got the money. Serious? Wait, that's my what? warehouse. That's not yeah. our warehouse. 
<laughs> well, it's his warehouse now. I sold that too. No, <laughs> you can't sell it. You don't own the deed. God. I know. I falsified it. Uh, no, I was, I was there. I did Listen, inventory this morning. Listen, if a guy named Dmitry or Vladimir calls you, do not pick up the phone. Well, how would I know? It'll say on the caller ID. The caller ID <laughs> yeah, doesn't say the <laughs> name. It just tells it me the number. Theirs. Yeah, while you called him from your phone and entered it in just to yeah. give you a heads oh, up. Thanks. A heads up. I appreciate so I don't that. Like, yeah. And that way he has your number then in case yeah. he had any issues with the warehouse. Um, Yeah, Star Citizen, the most underwhelming uh, Have you played it? development process. When, are they, when is it coming out? <laughs> should be out any time between now and never. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, I did play the alpha and it's really fun. So for what it's worth, it's just going to take forever to come out. What can you actually play in that game right now? Uh, any ship that you've purchased. Uh, there's a free space walk. There's a space station. Uh, rudimentary combat. There's a skirmish mode. And I believe they're they're entering into a phase now where you can do some of the preliminary Squadron 42 missions, which is the single-player component part of the game. Mm. Can you well, fly? Yes. You, you, could, you could fly a ship since last year. I'm in. It's actually pretty amazing the damage. Can I model just like now. just like drone out and fly around in space? Yeah, you totally can. That's what Elite Perfect. Dangerous is for. Good Elite Dangerous. I don't yeah. like Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous? Flight stick, bro. And uh Ooh, I have a flight stick. Oh yeah, get that and yeah. then, uh, get the uh the thing for your face. The Oculus? The Oculus. The thing Ooh, for your yeah. Ooh, speaking of Oculus. Did you guys see this game that I that I was talking about? Yeah, it's uh, called the rock climbing one. <laughs> yeah, the rock climbing one. It's called the mountain. And original uh, name, very good for a rock yeah, climbing. Really, game. really, you, really good it, game name. Is it the one where you sexually explore the character from Game of Thrones in VR? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So you basically just climb up the side of a mountain, which uh, people are saying is very disorienting and like kind of freaky since you have like you know, Oculus on, and you feel like you're actually doing it. But it looks kind of shitty. Like, it's just like a... It's amazing. Uh, I mean, like... It's called the okay. climb, not the mountain. Oh, yeah. the climb. For, Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. looking it up. Uh, not the mountain. <clears throat> it uses the it Oculus beautiful. Touch, right? That's how you yeah. actually climb, or something like and that. It's, and it's built on the uh, CryEngine. So it's really beautiful. Oh, you just use but, an Xbox controller. This is fucking lame. I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. You know what's a good game? Grip. Rocket League? Oh, Grip? Yeah, you ever played Grip? I think it's called Grip. No. It's by the guy that made, uh, uh, Quop. Oh, yeah, it is definitely called Grip, the racing game? No, no, it's a Flash <laughs> game, it's a Flash game. I think it's called Grip? No, I gotta Grip's look. A, no, Grip's a failed Kickstarter. No, no, no. This is a Flash game. I know that it was... At, maybe it's not Grip. Uh, uh, I feel like you're lying to me. It's GURP. <laughs> oh, it's GURP. It's GURP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a great game. It is a good game. You should try it. It's a, I'll try it it's out. It's a climbing game. You just have to press keys on your keyboard, and you, like, swing to hit other keys on your keyboard. It's pretty fun. Okay. I'll uh, I'll try it out after the podcast, okay. and I'll let you guys know what I think. Yeah, everybody, everybody, try uh, GURP right now. G I R P. Oh, uh, uh, it, if you're actually a climber, though, this game is shit compared to like real climbing. But what game? The VR one. Uh, the climb. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's... All all right. It's for people who can't. Climb, can't right? <laughs> Queens, are you gonna try it out? No, no. Or are you gonna come climbing with no. me? Yeah, I'll come. You get two choices. With you, sure. you either get to come climb with me, or you <laughs> gotta play this game. For how long do I have to do either of them? Uh, it depends how long I'm at the gym. When I get to the gym, you put it on and start playing, and then when I leave, you have to take it off. <laughs> at Queens, the, you I do go this climbing at together? the gym. Yep, at the gym. You just sit there in the lobby <laughs> <laughs> and just Watch play this climb. game. Can I get it? Real good. <laughs> Can the map be a map of your gym, too? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sweet. You can climb the same route that I'm climbing. I want an avatar nasty to be like right ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> Showing you the way. Yeah, this. come on, over here. <laughs> over here, Guido, over here. You can do it, Guido. 
That, I, yeah, I'd play that game. <laughs> okay, <right>. sweet. <laughs> um, Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming out on January 26th for the PC, finally. That's good news for me. I can't wait to play it. Wally, have you beaten it? I have. You'll enjoy it greatly. Good. Yeah, I really like that. I really like the Tomb Raider series. I'm not saying a word. Good. Because I want you to experience it cold. Nice. Um, Yeah, that's probably the game I'm looking most forward to right now. I will say, I know you have, if you liked the first remake, this is just up another notch. Yeah, really? Yeah. What game are you looking most forward to? Do you guys have any? Just right off the top um, of I'm looking forward to this game. Uh, what's the name of it? It's called League of Legends. God damn it. <laughs> it got me. <laughs> I was really thinking you had something. I was like, man. How about you, Mel? Uh, I don't know. What's coming out? It's big. Um, well, I shared some like EverQuest stuff recently and kind of reminded me that I still have a little bit of excitement left for that game. No, but we'll see. It's dead. It's never going to come out. Yeah. I, so. I can't, hey, as a fan of the original, I have to hold a little candle for hope. Yeah, but yeah, but it's it's not looking it's not good. looking great. Um, honestly, I, I'm really looking forward to if it actually comes out this year. Uh, no Man's Sky. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. that's gonna be great. Yeah. It looks like a really pretty, awesome game. For all of us. I'm looking forward to uh, I mean, to play with all of you. Tom Clancy's The Division. Yeah, Division mm. would be fun. It's coming yeah. out in March. It looks fun. It'd be a good time. Good time. What about that? If Rainbow Six and Destiny had a baby. What are your Didn't thoughts they push on that? Back and change the scope of it a lot or something. They have. It's been delayed twice. Yeah, that might be um, bad news. Yeah. Who be. knows? I can't be sure, but that's the game I had a focus on for a long time. What are you guys' thoughts on Far Cry Primal? Oh, good. Mm. I haven't seen much of it. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm a fan of the Far Cry series, though. It's, I love the IP. It's up on Steam and whatnot. You can pre-purchase it and watch some videos. Sweet. Is Just it, what I need is some more pre-purchasing stuff. Is it full price? Like 60 to 70 bucks? Yeah, 60 bucks, I think. Mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, really, I'm looking forward to Terraria coming out for Game Boy. Get the fuck out of here. Just play it. You own it already. <laughs> huh? and yeah. That's something I can't understand nope. why you would want. Nope. I want it. It's stupid. You're stupid. Really, I just want a Game Boy, and I want a reason to buy a Game Boy other than just Pokemon, because I can't really uh, justify buying a console for one game or, like, one IP. I guess. I don't know. It's like buying a computer just to play League of Legends. I I want to play Mario Maker. Mario Maker is so bad. <laughs> That's Why like, didn't you but, play it when we were at Guido's? Yeah, we uh, could have played it. Have it. You want to come over and play it? Yeah, I do. When you well, want to do like, that? It's a single player experience mostly, isn't it? Yeah, well, but... You can make things together. Yeah, I'll sit and watch you make stuff and then test your levels. I don't mind. Mm. And tell you how shitty they are and sit there and cross his arms and disbelief that you made such a horrible level because that's what he's going to do yeah yeah maybe <laughs> i want to play that and smash is really fun too i, I like that game it's I heard that the enough new, to get me to buy a wii u the new really? Yoshi game is pretty fun i'm told yeah i might get that for for uh christmas for the daughter which really means me which one <laughs> uh yoshi's yarn oh uh, yeah that looks fun very uh little big planet esque. Yeah, nice art style. Yeah. Not to go all handheld on you, but I am getting the next Fire Emblem for three D S. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. They're they're giving it the Pokemon treatment. You have to choose between two different games. I like that. It completely alters the narrative perspective. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Worth that back. Um uh, Rocket League is having a free holiday DLC bullshit, uh, Rocket League, which includes a hockey mode, which replaces the ball with a puck. That could be kind of fun. I wouldn't mind firing that up with you guys for a minute. I don't actually have Ooh. it. They added a bunch of like mutators recently, I saw. Oh, did well. they? Do you guys know about that? Yeah. No. Like, you can play game modes with mutators on, like low gravity. And oh, nice. Oh. Different stuff like that. Huh. So, yeah. 
That'd be fun to uh, jump into for a bit. Okay. I got like really into that game for a week or two. We all did. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it was it was around the LAN party. Oh, uh, when I went to the LAN party, like that was a super fun game to play with people in the same room. Sure. Okie dokie, that's it. Let's move on to voice moils, huh? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. We have a new voice moil! <laughs> you wanna listen to the voice moil? Alright, we don't have too many this week. Only. Yeah, it's because it's early, I think. Right, yeah. We get a lot of uh, late, late bloomers. Last second ones. Last second ones sending in their stuff. So, uh, only five. Not too bad. We can get through these. All right, here we go. Uh, here's uh, this first one. Hey, Just Okay Gamers, it's Gift Paul. My question for you this week is, in a movie about the most interesting time in your life, which league champ would best portray you, and what is the plot of the movie? The That's all. In hmm. a league movie about your life, which league champ would best portray you, and what would the plot be? Uh, um... I'm going to have to say most interesting time would be my deployment to Afghanistan, and I'm going to pick Jarvin yeah. just because he's, like, his, in his, like, commando skin. Okay. Most – all right. I can understand that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I partied a lot when I was in my early 20s. Maybe Gragas. No, weird. That like matches you. you yeah, but I was barrel. I was thin in my in my early twenties. I was in a tub of lard yeah. like I am now. <laughs> Broloff, maybe. Yeah, maybe Broloff. No, I wasn't that. I was more like I'm no. gonna have fun and drink yeah. rather than and break you're, shit. Rage like, out, yeah. Surprise party fiddlesticks. Yeah, I'm just looking for a good time. Sure. Or um, may, maybe when my dog died, I'd pick a moo moo. <laughs> that That's the most interesting, most interesting time time of your life. <laughs> it's when very your dog died. Yeah, my first uh, experience with death. You know, okay, losing things. I could see that. I could see that. Knowing that uh, not everybody's going to be here forever. You've never lost anyone in your family until your dog died. My first dog when I was young. Oh, okay. not the recent dog that died. <laughs> <I thought> you <laughs> you got like, a card for a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the card. <laughs> I don't want to tell that story. It's yeah, let's story. not. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, Wally? No? Uh, uh, interesting <laughs> time in my life. <laughs> uh, it could be when... Uh, uh, what did you do there? Uh, uh, when uh, Jen had to get her tires changed, I'd probably pick, uh, I'd probably pick Malzahar. Uh, no, I pick I pick uh, Heimerdinger because he's got wrenches. Yeah, uh, okay. he could he could put them tires on. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about um, or Blitz with the hot rod Blitz skin? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, Snow Day Bard. <laughs> oh yeah, snowball because fights when you were was, younger. When I was younger, and also one time in college, uh, we had snowball fights. There's a golf course on campus. We'd have snowball fights, and out in front there's a huge parking lot. It was like a spare lot that not everyone parked in all the time. And at 3 a.m. we'd get drunk, and we'd pile into this old, like, 86 Oldsmobile, and we'd do eight, figure eights in the parking lot. And then finally, one uh, one night, I uh, we the engine blew out, and we were stuck 30-minute walk back to the dorm in sub-zero temperatures because <laughs> we blew out the engine doing the figure eights in the middle of the snow. That, that's one of my... More hilarious memories that kind of made me think of that. That is hilarious. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next voice moil. Here it is. Podcast. So the question I want to ask is what's your favorite Christmas song to blast? 
All right. Oh, that's... Spadaccino. Spadaccino. That was good. So you wrote that, huh? Yeah, you yeah, wrote that. good. No, no, he copied that. <laughs> uh, well, he does covers usually, right? Well, I don't know. That's uh, that's a Christmas song, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, that's what I was ding, trying to... Da, da, ding, da, da, ding, da, 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 No, that's just... It is. Is that it? That's is not it? a Christmas song. That's just... It's classical, a, I think. It's just like Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> Canon and D or something. It is Canon and D. <laughs> da, da. It's the intro to Canon and D. Da, 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 da. Ladies and gentlemen, da, 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 Christmas tune. Christmas uh, tune. Um, man, I really been digging Froggy Fresh lately, and he's got a Christmas I hate song. Christmas music. Like maybe that's why I hate Christmas so much is because I just can't stand the fucking music. Silver Bells uh, by Bing Crosby with Carol Richards. Okay. I like uh, Rudolph the reindeer. Rudolph the reindeer. The red, yeah, his, red, his red, red nose, nose to <laughs> I don't know what would red nose be to uh, I don't fucking care huh? I don't know You're what talking we're talking about, about. I don't know man um, <laughs> what about that Mariah Carey song you know uh, which one yeah. how's it go uh, yeah. all I want for Christmas is you oh uh, yeah that's like yeah, the Guido, newest all I want for Christmas is you that's like the newest Christmas song that has been what's, entered into the Christmas lexicon area. No, it's true. The rotation. What's, okay, what's that song? Is like uh, last year I gave you my heart. What the George? Is it? Uh, give it away. That took from the eighties. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that a really old one? I thought that was. Like <laughs> it's, new. it's called Last Christmas. And it it's gave from, like, you the my 80s. heart. It's a wham song. Da 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 Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was new. Is that from the 80s? You know the t-shirt that says Frankie says relax? Yeah, that's yeah. them. That's them. Yeah, 1985. I, well, yeah, I've heard of Wham. Okay, well, yeah, oh, it's Oh, wow, I didn't know that song was so old. Yeah, that song like got stuck in my head last year, all Christmas. And I heard got it got popular this, because this uh, Glee <laughs> covered it. Oh, okay, maybe that's why. Fucking Glee. Yeah. Now, Froggy Fresh does a, a song called Christmas, and it's a I like Froggy rap Fresh. song. It's a rap song. Is that this year, or did he have it? It's been out. He made it like three years ago. Ooh. Yeah. I don't understand if he's just like, he really is that person, or if he's just like a really... Oh, no, that's a character. He created a character. Yeah, that's definitely a character. It's got to be. Really? Like, it's so good if it's just a character. It is good. Uh, But I've heard his, like, real attempts. And he's a good rapper. Uh, It's just not as entertaining. It's like a parody rapper, almost. Yeah, yeah. check out Froggy Fresh, people. All right, ne- next voice, Moyle. Thank you, Spettuccino. Uh, how about this one? Hey, guys. It's Fire Gamer. My hypothetical situation for the week is it's the zombie apocalypse. You have to create a four-man party, including yourself. Which three video game characters do you choose to come with you? I choose Leon from Resident Evil 4, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, and Vice. I'm scared of Arcadia. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah. Nice. What is it again? I like when they tell us their answer to the question. Yeah, I like that, yeah. too. Future reference. But don't go too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I thought I was just going to choose Guido, Nasty, and Wally until he said video game yeah, characters. Yeah, you got to pick video game yeah. characters. You got to pick video game characters. An, an epic adventure? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, zombie Apocalypse, right? Yeah, zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. Um, who's like, who's the best zombie killer? I guess I would choose Blade. Blade. I don't know. Is, Blade's is he a video like, game well, character? I though? guess he has. He's like in the Marvel. Uh, you know that free to play Marvel game. Yeah. Marvel I'm Heroes. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Blade game as well somewhere. Okay, um, I'm bringing Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Ash Ketchum. Okay. And but Pokemon don't exist in this world, you know that? 
Nope. So, just, so you're just bringing a little kid. A <laughs> nope. Nope. They exist. <laughs> no, they don't. And, uh, what are you, you going to do with Ash Ketchum? And Cyclops. And Cyclops. I would just bring, so yeah. bring some hot video game babes to bed yeah. before we all die. Sure. <laughs> so I would take Lara Croft as well. See, right, yeah. she fills both like both roles. She can kill and she <laughs> can true. you can just bang yeah, her. Because Laura Croft would want to bang you. Yeah, hey, well, it's the zombie. She's a fucking. Who else is she gonna bang? Fucking she's a, nasty. like a beautiful billionaire. She's also a yeah. nobility too. Yeah, she's House of No. Uh, is it? What's her father's name again? Uh, is it Croft? Yeah, it's Croft. Yeah. Yeah, probably You're a Croft. Billionaire. I wasn't sure if it was like House of something <laughs> or not. But... Ah, uh, shit. I'm trying to think of loopholes, you know? That's why like, I brought Ash, like, because all the Pokemon come with them. I'd probably pick an At-At to live in <laughs> and just walk <laughs> around the earth. <laughs> and then I'd pick someone, like, who could conjure up, like, food in water? Uh, probably what? just a magician from EverQuest <laughs> or, <laughs> or a wizard uh, from WoW. I'll take Wizard one from of those. Gauntlet. Yeah. Yeah, White Knight from Final Fantasy. And, and then what else? What's what other I got shelter, I got food. Now I need some sort of like entertainment probably. <laughs> just bring Just bring yeah, storm, just the storm, then you can control the, then you can control the weather. Just the computer. Yeah, I don't want storm. Why don't I want storm? Why not? She's hot too. Yeah, but still, like, she'd be talking all in riddles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, I can't think of a third. I, I think I got it covered with the magician from EQ and the at-at. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe pretty, pretty solid party. Maybe throw that. Scarlet Witch in there, because she could just change everything so that there are no zombies. <laughs> 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 wouldn't, in any scenario, wouldn't the other three par- party members look at you and be like, "What are you doing? Yeah, right, like, yeah. what, what You're not you you piece of shit. <laughs> You're just like, shut, off of us. Shut the fuck up! I they would all bitch. turn on you immediately. <laughs> I picked you guys. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'd be with everybody else, probably living fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got three. Does it matter? Yeah, tell us. Uh, Jill Valentine. From Resident Evil? Yes. Okay. For both Millpool's reason as well as a functional one. And uh, I would have gone with Leon, but come fucking on. Fucking is functional. I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> fucking oh, true. is functional. Funch, fucking is functional. <laughs> Could have gone with Leon, but come on. And, uh, functional? Uh, Gordon F- F- G- we are really hung up on the functional Gordon thing. Freeman? Gordon Freeman. Ah, oh, nice. I thought of Sound Gordon protagonist. Freeman. protagonist. He doesn't say anything. That's yeah. the best part of it. And he just kicks ass. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, uh, was it um, Geralt of Rivia? Rivia? Sure. Witcher. Get get some Witcher action just in case the zombie thing's mystical. I'd yeah. bring Bill from uh, Bill Nye. Bill He's Nye. real. Science yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bill. Bill. I know he Bill, was in a, Bill. a TV show. But <laughs> 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 He's a real I'm person. Like the, the old guy. I'd bring I'd bring the Domino's Noid. <laughs> 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 you like he instantly dies but the cat yeah, you could do yeah that. avoid the noise you could eat him too yeah I could eat it he's made of dough he's <laughs> a pepperoni or something isn't he's it? made of dough I think no, probably not <laughs> it's like <"Yeah." laughs> I provide sustenance <laughs> thanks noid <laughs> Please feed upon my flesh. <laughs> I am annoyed. <laughs> when you eat me, it satisfies it's... my goals for It's so greedy, I couldn't eat him. I Please. was born to die. <laughs> I was born to sustain your life essence. Please take a chunk of my thigh. It's the best <laughs> part. Oh. Yeah, but then you don't have a leg. Well, that's okay. Carry me. Oh, then I gotta just eat the whole body. I might as well just yeah. eat like when you're yes, ears. Eat my whole body. <laughs> Stop doing this character. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take three noids. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get three noids, please? I'll just, I'll just, just cast a piggy to die. Go into a cave no, and just eat me first. Greedo 
boy. <laughs> start eating just, each other. <laughs> you should just... <laughs> guys, let's all be Noids and Dr. Guido. <laughs> me now. Hey, Noids, chill out, guys, all right? <laughs> Next time you go to Domino's, you should say that. Yeah. Guarantee you nobody what, would know me? what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. What, eat me? <laughs> That's just rude to say. <laughs> <laughs> Eat me! <laughs> fucking Domino's workers! Domino's workers! should have used the noid! Eat me! <laughs> Eat me! Alright, next voice moil. Here it is. There was like two. What's the matter with the meme? What? I'm seeing, don't you know what? That the oh, that was a. That, oh. that was not a voice well, it was nope. a segue. <laughs> that was a segue. Alright, here it is. Hello, guys. Oh, God. So, I'm gonna go piss while we listen to this. It's Snowy, by the way. Yeah. Apparently, my mom, she worked at this, like, caretaking center for people who's, like, sick or, you know, stuff can't do them themselves. Like a nurse, almost. Kinda. And then... She was taking care of the Syrian man who'd apparently been shot in like the neck or something when he was in now he's paralyzed when he was in Syria. And apparently she just got notice that that man was a suspected ISIS terrorist and she'd been taking care of him for months. So that's kind of fucked up. So my question is, what do you think about terrorists? Good or bad. No. Ah, fucking Snowy, and you are a piece of shit. Something and then realize Next. how fucked up and weird that. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Snowy. Come on. Next. You can do better than that. All right. It's an interesting story about your mother. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about terrorism. <laughs> yeah, right. No one thinks terrorism I think is good. Knows where our stance is on terrorism. Yeah, you know who thinks terrorism is good. Terrorist. Osama bin Laden. <laughs> and look at where he ended up. You're just a piece of shit, Snowy. <laughs> Whoa. What, am I wrong? Uh. Yeah, that's right. No, one's, no one came to your aid, Snowy. <laughs> huh? So fix your fucking questions. Send us a good one next time, or you're cut off! We are going to start filtering. <laughs> no, we aren't. We haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, everybody, we're going to start filtering our voicemails, so if you... Send no, we are not! We... <laughs> we haven't decided yet. It's only been two weeks, three weeks in the making. Hey, it takes us a long time to figure this shit out. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Snowy, get your shit together. Here's the next one. Hey, this is Bombhab. Love you, love you, show. What's your favorite TV game show? My personal favorite is... Oh. TV game show, huh? Yeah, favorite TV game show. Uh, any, uh, of all, of any time. I mean, Jeopardy is pretty good. Because if I'm allowed to pull from any time, I will get. I have an answer. <laughs> yeah, any time. Any time. Press your luck. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I, I don't blame you either. It's an amazing show. It's a good show. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it. No Emmys. No Emmys. No Emmys. Stop. Really? You haven't seen that? I don't think so. Oh. Wow. Um, you got a whammy. Uh, what about Family Feud? Family Feud's fun. Family Feud's a good one. Yeah. I Much like funnier always... now that they have an African-American man running it. Really? I don't I know like how to take the... what you just yeah, said. Yeah, how, do I, how do I read that? <laughs> I'm being serious. And I'm being PC. Who's, who hosted it before Lou? <laughs> Drew Carey? Before, no, well, it was uh, Al Drew Borland Carey. before yeah. ha Steve Harvey, and then Louis Anderson. Right, who oh, was yeah. that, though? What's uh, the Drew drunk Carey. Irish guy that killed himself? Drew Carey didn't host uh, it. Uh, shit, I, I can't think of his name. Um, from, like the, from like the 80s and shit. Yeah. Uh, Megan, yeah. who was the drunk remember, Irish remember. guy that killed himself? He was the host <laughs> of Family Feud. <laughs> the old host of Family Feud, he kissed all the women. God damn. God damn it! You know everything! Looks like that. Yeah, we all know what he looks like. Uh, it was Ray Combs. Ray, Ray Combs? Was it Ray Combs? Louis, it? Yeah, it's Ray Combs, then Louis Anderson, Richard Karn. Richard Karn. Hurley, and now Steve Harvey. 
Oh, Rich. No, it was, it was Richard it was Dawson. It was Richard Dawson. Richard Dawson? Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, he had a stint. Yeah, he had a stint in there. From 94 wait, to Wait, who killed himself then? It was the blonde guy that took it after that. The guy after Richard Dawson killed Ray himself. Co okay. Ray Combs? Ray Combs. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that killed himself. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the guy that killed himself. You can just tell by looking at his face. Richard Dawson was the first one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that we just all went to Wikipedia and looked this up. Right. Fascinating stuff. Right. All right. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Family Feud. Yeah, okay. I'm going to stick with... <laughs> I like the, uh, the video game competition that used to be on. I don't know if it was on in the States, but at the end when you won, you'd ride down this ramp in a skateboard and you'd just be in this room filled with video games. <laughs> And oh. they had Velcro all over their body, and they could keep as much as they stuck to their body. I remember that! <laughs> Holy shit! I always wanted to be on that show so bad. Mill, I haven't thought of that in nearly 15, 20 years. Holy shit! they would shit. always get, like, the skateboard and then whatever was stuck to their body, like, Actually, cartridges. Actually, I'm retracting my statement, and I'm switching it to Legends of the Hidden Temple. Just because mm. I always wanted to do it. Double Video Dare that was better than that Legends of the Hidden Temple. Is that what it's called? Video Power. Yeah, what do you right. what do you say was better, Guids? Double Dare. Mm. Double Dare was way better. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. No, it's just a fact. Double mm. Dare was better. Nah. Uh, I mean, it was fun to watch, but no. Okay. That's I'm it. happy as a clam now. I haven't yeah, thought about you used to watch that. As well. Yeah, all the time, okay. man. A little bit of nostalgia. That do that for you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. well. Um. Okay. That's it for voice moils. That's all we got. Thank you. Keep sending them. We are leaning towards doing an all, uh, all voice mail podcast, like half an right. hour long, once or twice a month, depending on how many we get. So that's that. And now we like to do something that I like to call listener of the week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now, he's gonna be real sweet now. <laughs> it's listener of the week. Yeah. This week's listener of the week is Alamari from Estonia. And uh, he, he gave us five stars on Estonian iTunes. Huh? A stony Ooh, conversion uh, on that one. I don't know. Uh, but this this uh, review <laughs> is from the 16th of February of 2015. Yeah, we're a little bit behind. Whoa. Well, we didn't know that Estonia, one, existed, and two, that they had an iTunes <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Estonia exists. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a joke. <laughs> uh... So, yeah, Alamari is the listener of the week this week, and his review is titled, A Collection of Words. Ooh, that is what sentences are. And his review is as follows. This is the podcast for you. If you find people going on random tangents that lead nowhere irresistibly funny. If you like hearing the host say his name incorrectly at the beginning of each episode, I haven't done that in a while, and tell <laughs> For the record. true stories about his life that make you laugh to the point that you vomit on your aunt's dog. Whoa. If you adore when grown men say, yo, 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 and speak with their childhood speak about their childhood pooping misadventures. Thanks, Alamari. You are a listener of the week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now. He's gonna be real sweet now. <laughs> it's listener of the week. Yeah. You can be Listener of the Week by leaving a review on iTunes, Estonian iTunes, Chinese iTunes, uh, Korean iTunes, American iTunes. It doesn't matter. All we want is a review. So give us one. one. He, he, he emailed email? us. Yeah. Like, he was like, awesome. Or was this 
No, it was just, like, I just, yeah, it yeah. was like, I sent a review like 10 months ago and you guys yeah. haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, you got to do that if you live yeah. somewhere like Estonia. Right. Sorry, guys. It's, we're it's, never going to find it. It's difficult for us to see other countries' iTunes because they're separated yeah, by yeah, the country you that you're in by default. Country by country. Right. So until somebody makes a... Hmm, sounds like a proposition. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> a <laughs> proposition to yourself. <laughs> yeah. I just, pro I just propose something you to myself. You some proposition. Mm. <laughs> the gift. The uh, gift. Uh, all right. No, it's not uh, herpes. I didn't give myself herpes. So yeah, leave us a review on iTunes. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Oh shit, nasty! You want to plug? I got some donors that we forgot to thank. So yeah, yeah, pull that for up sure. While you plug. Uh, if you guys want to check us out uh, on social media, you can find all that stuff on justokgamers.com as well as the mumble info. So come join us. Say hi. Play games with us. Have fun. Um, also, be sure to check out the subreddit slash r slash JustOKGamers. And uh, if you want to watch us live, uh, follow us on Twitter at JustOKGamers because we're going to have kind of a screwy schedule the next couple of weeks with the holidays and such and Guido's birthday coming up. Um, so, yeah, but when we do that, it's on twitch.tv slash JustOKGamers. And maybe we'll see you next week. Oh, very good, very good. Um, yeah, we have received, uh, what do we got? Three donations in the few Ooh, weeks. thank you guys. We haven't said Ooh. anything. Andrew Hart, thank you very much for, oh, I shouldn't say their names. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Andrew. You can say their first name. Andrew, thank you for say your it, donation. Andrew Eden. H. What? Or A. Hart. Okay. A Andrew H. Yeah. Um, K. McCartney or Kier M. Uh, thank you for your donation. He gave us a little note here and it says, Love the podcast. Just started listening a few weeks ago. Makes doing my monotonous dissertation lab work something to look forward to. That sounds rough. Keep up the great work on all the content you create. Lab dissertations do not sound fun, my friend. So best of luck to you and... Glad that we can bring you some ease mm -hmm. of the pain. And somehow uh, Kenneth is on a recurring payment, so he just keeps giving us, what, $5 every month. That's nice. <laughs> Thanks, Kenneth. <laughs> so, Kenneth, I don't know if you meant you. to do that. Yeah, check your frequency, Kenneth. That's yeah. a terrible mistake. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> but uh, we're working um, on a Patreon right now. Yeah. yeah. We got tiers listed out. There's even a super special tier. Where uh, I don't want to give it away, but it's super special. <laughs> oh yeah, it's super special. Um, so that that will be something that if you guys decide to give us money, we can at least give you some sort of thanks or uh, reward for doing that for us. Yeah. Um, we should have that up in the, by next podcast. Yes. Okay. Good. By next podcast. By next podcast. By next podcast. Uh -huh. Bye. Yum. Next podcast. Um, by Menon. Um, by Menon. That's it. Yeah, it's a podcast. You guys have any banter? Last minute banter. That I have an awesome shirt. Yep, we already saw it. PBR. No, I'm yeah. showing the actual people on the podcast now because I just showed it to the pre show. I have an awesome shirt. If you yeah, guys want to be a part Sam. of a banter, Look you should join shirt. us on my our live show. Good. Ooh, cats. Cats oh, yeah, always look win. at that fucking ceiling cat. Space cat. That's not just cat, that's ceiling cat. Okay. Space right. cats win. You guys are just have abandoned everything and <laughs> playing directly <laughs> to the camera. Hey, look and at thing you're I'm playing doing. Rubik's Cube. Yeah, look, so. look, look at Bill Pulse Yeah, but thing. I'm not like pointing it out. You pointed it out. <laughs> well, I'm trying to draw people to the to the Twitch feed. Um Exclusives. Okie dokie, that's it for this podcast. Thank you guys. We will see you next week for maybe an extra special Christmas spectacular. But Holiday. Maybe uh, not. We're no, going to be a little early, right, the next couple of weeks? No, it's yeah. Christmas. Because of the holidays. We'll yeah. be doing, like, Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Right. Yeah. Tuesday again. Yeah. Probably. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okie dokie, we'll talk mm -hmm. to you guys later and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.